Having a redeemer means that your mistakes and messes are transformed into beauty. I was waiting for a really big hallelujah right there. Because it's not just that you go to heaven, but God cares about you now. He cares about what's going on in your life right now. And every one of us, if we're honest, we can tell stories about the messes that we've made with our own lives, the mistakes that we've made with our lives, and the things that represent a dimension of our history and our past. But the beautiful thing about a Redeemer is He's able to come in, and He's able to take all the mistakes and all the messes and do something that you and I could never do, give us beauty for our ashes. It's redemption. That's what He does. And when you and I meet the Redeemer, that you actually receive the full benefits of Jesus sacrificed by nothing more than free grace. It is free. You don't pay a single thing for it. You cannot earn it. It is freely given to you because of the Redeemer's love for you and me. The psalmist David made a statement about this in Psalm 103. The first five verses, he is overwhelmed with the goodness of God. And he says, praise the Lord, my soul, all my inmost being. Praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Who, who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion. Who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles.